All right, so this hat is in unfortunate condition and it's worth a lot of money, so let's fix it. Hat. This is a really nice hat. This is a really desirable hat. The script is super desirable. Don't pass up hats with baseball teams, basketball, football that are just cursive script like that. This one I picked up, I want to say I spent like 25 bucks on. Comps are like 125 bucks, so that was a really good pickup. But the snap is like dog chewed, and it is youngin snap on there. This Nike hat a buddy of mine got the other day and he's like, dude, I think there's this is not good. <laughs> and he was right. It's the wrong Nike emblem. I've got some that I could show you and say this this is the wrong font. It's the wrong size. Um, it's the wrong blank because it's a young and this is Cubs can which is or Cubs cap which is a youth line but it uses the exact same young and snap as this hat so we're going to sacrifice the bootleg Nike and see if we can't restore this Cubs or this uh, Bulls script pinstripe. And about all you need are some scissors and a hot glue gun. And on this hat, the one that we're working with, this snap is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I mean, it's a little beat up right here but that is not worth messing with to tear into this side of the hat. So we're just going to put a new Youngin um, hole side on, which means that we're gonna take this one and cut the threads out right here. That took a little bit of doing to get the scissors in the right place to cut on these threads but we got there and then it should just kind of work apart it should a little bit peel, just peel up you break the threads and there is the correct snap for the hat that is broken so this one is the one that's worth saving and so I want to be a little bit more gentle with it and it kind of unthreads a little more naturally, a little more right. Now when this is original, this snap is threaded, but that's not how we're going to leave it. Um, because I don't have any way to sew through this uh, not without painstakingly put a, a needle through every one of those holes. I'm not doing that. So we'll clean this up a little bit. Pull all these broken threads out. Cut them up. We just don't want to leave the hat a mess when it's done. While I'm cutting errant threads, there is one more on this side over here that needs cleaned up. Maybe I already got it. Yeah, I must have already gotten it. There's one over here. Cutting these errant threads away isn't going to hurt the hat, and it's just going to make it present a little bit better. You're going to have a little better luck with. Uh, pictures if they don't show these little threads all over the place. So now we have this young and hat with a with no snap. But for comparison this is the original and this is the one we pulled out, 
and they are pretty darn much identical. So we are restoring this. I would not, on a hat like this, I would not put just a generic snap without that young in on there because these hats people know. These are collectible high-end hats and people would know that that was the wrong snap. So we got the right snap. We're going to flip this open and put it and line these up with what would have been the original thread holes. Lining those thread holes up with these thread holes and just kind of check it to make sure that it's straight, that the, it's the way you want it. And then we're going to hot glue it, we're going to hold it there, and we're going to hot glue it into place. Hopefully this glue gun is hot enough. Be careful when you're messing with hot glue, it's easy to burn yourself. I burnt myself, but this was cooking. Um, and it's stringy. You don't want a stringy mess of hot glue. And so you just put down a good bead of hot glue. We're going to have to clean up the stringy mess. And so now it's going to be glued to one side and we'll grab the... Uh, other side in just a second. See, and you don't want this either. I'm not doing a really good job with this one because I'm holding it under the camera, but you definitely don't want a bunch of hot glue sticking out from underneath that fabric. And now this side, because it's stuck to there, it makes itself much easier and so I'll use a lot more glue going back because because I can because it's all hidden now and the stringiness that is a pain in the butt about hot glue and then you press that together and that's gonna hold with very little evidence that it's there like you're not gonna see it bleed through the fabric over here and you're not gonna see it um, on this side and as long as you're neat with it you're not really going to see it down in there so I'm going to let this set up for about 10 minutes and we're going to see what it looks like so am I going to cut the snap off and restore every hat that has a bad snap? No but this uh, Chicago Bulls script is an all timer it's a really good hat very sought after new with tags it's like 400 bucks Super, super nice, it's 125 This is probably a $100 hat. So it's worth the extra time to make sure I have the right snap and that I get it in there well. Um, but if it's a $25 hat and it's got a broken snap, sell it as is or uh, don't buy it, donate it somewhere. I don't think, I just don't think it's probably worth it. But on something like this, this is, this is hat's gonna sell. So, and it's gonna sell pretty high. All right, so here we go. Snap back in place. I've snapped it on there to make sure it sets in the right place. It pulls off, yanking on it pretty hard. I mean, I play guitar, I have a decent grip. It's not going anywhere. That is uh, attached. Now it is glued in here and I'll clean up some of this uh, hot glue stringiness. And it isn't, like on this side, it isn't glued, so it's it's open there, it is glued here, so um, there's that. If you look here, and I don't know how well that's going to focus. I hate it when people do this on YouTube, trying to get something to focus up close without... Two hours later. So if you look right there, you can see the stitching, and I'll put an arrow to it in the editing. You can see the stitching. It is not there to be seen on this side. So there's that, and then on the back side, you can see on this side, it's just kind of holes in the residue of thread, and on this side, it is definitely stitched. So there's evidence that this was repaired. Um, it is a repaired hat now. It isn't a survivor, but a super sought after hat 
not going anywhere. Excellent, excellent hat that'll sell pretty, pretty well and is correct. Something that I forgot to say uh, was that it works exactly the same on the other side. You just, if you're doing both at the same time, you need to be careful to make sure that the two pieces line up and you don't end up with one, with them making the hat look out of joint. Just make sure that they have the same reveal at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch two flipping puppets. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Check out my link tree in the comments below. Check out my eBay store. Go buy something. Thanks, guys.